All right, so uh, let us, let's just begin. All right, let me just. Like uh, now, can you see this? We are starting with web application development and introduction to web today, right? And uh, I'm going to introduce a few things to you people. So you are aware how uh, things go, how things are on the web, right? When I type www.google.com, Right, I see a web page that appears and on the left, if you see, uh, there is a log here, which shows that this particular connection is secure. Now, what does that actually mean? It means that the data transfer between two individuals, one whom we call a client that is you yourself using your browser and someone with whom you ask for content who is known as a web server communicate. So when I type in this, right, or say, let's say I type in Times of India, dot com right what you typically see is your request going to this particular web server called times of india and it responds with this particular home page so ultimately what is a web page a web page is a page Fine. Is a document Fine. of the World Wide Web as you see, see here, what you see here, right? So a web page is a vehicle that is used by users to actually log on the World Wide Web. So a web page is a document on the World Wide Web with its own address. What does this mean? This means this web page already has a name called Times of India. If I remove this and just type in and just type in indiatimes.com, then for sure, right, a web page or a home page from India Times would surely appear. Let, let me do this. Like I'll I'll just type in something called divyabhaskar.co.in. So when we do this, this is going to actually launch or load the web page of this particular website on your machine, on your client. So in a way, I would say a website needs a client which is known as a browser. We browse the web, we browse the world wide web and the world wide web only understands a language, a markup language which is known as hypertext transfer like a world wide web which only understands hypertext markup language, which is the typical language or which is the typical code that a browser interprets. So uh, say if I am here and if you let, let me show something. Uh,
if, if you see this, like at your end, there are a lot of menus uh, with the browser, like a lot of options that I already have, right, in the browser. So uh, what I mean to say is when we talk about the web, when we talk about the World Wide Web, we will always need a software that helps us navigate the web. For example, if I say www.onlinesbi.sbi, so just, just see, the connection is secure, right? It ensures that there is some connectivity which is already available to this particular page with an extension called SBI, right? So what is a web server? Let's just see, right? Let me just go first scroll through the text. A web server is a software and a hardware that uses a protocol called HTTP, whose full form is Hypertext Transfer Protocol. What does a hypertext mean? Hypertext means a text on which when clicked will take you to some another page. Just see, something is launched and I am now able to see what I clicked. So what I see here, right? what I see here is a hyperlink. If you see, your arrow has just become an icon, a hand icon, right? Like this. And when you click on it, when you click on it, you are surely going to get the target content that is this particular web page as and when loaded. Just see. I clicked on this and now this particular ISRO's bid to unravel black hole document has just got displayed. So now this server has actually sent this content in form of some code which is known as HTML code. It is called Hypertext Markup Language Code, right? Which is typically some text getting interpreted by the browser. So let me just put in a couple of words for you. I would rather, and I want to create an HTML page, I would always use this syntax, HTML. We'll always see that there is a smaller than and a greater than symbol and within which there will be some text. Hypertext markup language is a static tag language which can be interpreted only by the browser, no one else. So within HTML, I have something which is called add. So if I want to write something here, I would write something in the head, right? And there is something called body within which I would write something. So why I did write this? The first question is, what is the reason I wrote a couple of, a couple of code, right? A couple of text, which are known as tags. The reason is, these are the only things that your browser can interpret, that your browser can know. But it is not just that. Let, let, let me share that with you now on. Our browsers have become very, very sophisticated. A browser will open a PDF file. A browser can run a movie. A browser can actually open images. Just see if I just change this to my image tag on the search engine, it immediately comes up with this. So if we look at this like this, let me just open this in a new tab. We are only concerned about, no, we are not looking at this. Let me identify something else. Yeah. Right. So let me just say, I mean, so if you see on the left, 
all these are known as clients. Why? Because they are typical desktops with a browser. For an example, if I'm using Microsoft Windows, right? Microsoft has its own browser, which is called Internet Explorer, which now they call an Edge, right? This Explorer is known as an Edge, E-D-G-E. -E. Then you have something called Google Chrome. Then we have something called Firefox. These are the three variants of different companies, right? So Mac OS will have its own browser, right? Does anyone know uh, what is the name of an iPhone browser? Can someone just tell me? iPhone mein kaun sa browser hota hai? Safari. Hello? Yeah, can, some, can someone be a bit loud? Safari, sir. Safari, safari, safari hota sir. hai, right? So again, that's example of a browser. And what's a browser? Browser lets you browse the web. That's it. And browser only understands this. Remember this, right? Though this is a very simple code right now. And if you see something very typical, you'll see that there is a tag in the tree which starts HTML. So I ended the HTML with a tag called and HTML, if you see this. So this tag should end, otherwise nothing's going to happen. Right, and let me here just write H1. Right, so, so something called title within the head. The head ends, let me then explain how the browser goes and then probably something called body. I mean, is this visible to all of you? Hello? Yeah, so I assume everybody is there and uh, this screen is visible to everybody. So let me just save this right on the desktop. Fine, and say, let me just say hello dot h. Yeah. Kya hua? Oh, change kariya, screen change ki aapna. Oh, dusri screen nahi dikhai de rahi. All right, just let me again minimize because uh, jis screen mein hum the, now is it visible? Ah, ye web server wala the. Yes. Yes, yes, sir. Now it's visible? All right. Because I have a screen pe wo, window share kiya hai na, aapke pura, a screen share. Nahi kiya hai. So because uh, there was an overlay of notepad over it, that was the problem. So now let me just uh, share, save this. Let me just say hello world. Fine. And give an extension called HTM or I could say HTML. It doesn't make any difference, right? And when I typically open it somewhere, are you able to see now? Okay, so we just created a very simple page, which is known as, in, in, in a way, a web page with some code, right? And now I would just do one thing. I created a web page called Hello World. And if I just bring in here, okay. Can you see this? Hello? You guys need to keep responding to me so I know uh, 
we are alive, right? We are active and uh, things are on. So if you see, I wrote something in the title tag, my title page, which is already available at the top. And I wrote something in the body. I wrote something called Hello World. And this Hello World is already there. Let me just open the code. I, uh, I again open it. Sir, the code is not visible. Code. Is the screen visible or screen is not visible? Only the browser is visible. Yeah, but Google you, see, Chrome. you see something called Hello World on the left? Yeah. But when you write the code, it, it was not visible. Okay, it was not visible. Will okay. So uh, what I wrote HTML and all wasn't visible, right? No, sir. Okay, all right, no problem. What, what you can see is my title page on the top and hello world on the left. Is it visible to you all? Yes, sir. All right. So so that's fine. Right now that's okay. Right. Let me just okay. So, so you can you can see uh, something called hello world here and on the top there is something called title now just let me clarify this what you see below this horizontal line what you see here is the body part the whole screen diagonally below this horizontal line is your body whereas what you see on the top here, right? What you see here is known as something called an address bar. Okay? And what you see on the top here, what you see here all, these things, these usually are known as headers. What are they known as? They are known as headers. Why are we talking about the body and the header? Let me just show it to you. So, if you see this, is this is this page visible to you all? Yes, sir. All right. So, if you see at the top, your browser has been divided into some sections. As you see, even see in the browser. And see, uh, on the left of this browser, if, uh, there is something very typical that you see. There is a triangle and besides the triangle, it says not secure. Any idea what this is? The, the, the uh, websites or web pages that we had a look at, as for example, www.timesofindia.com. So if you see, it says the connection is secure. Here, if you go, it says the connection is not secure. Are you with me? Yes, sir. All right. So why does this happen? What is the reason for something secure, something not secure? The reason for this is, before I show you this header, just let me show you. Just let me show this to you. Right. All right. 
Is this diagram visible to everybody? Oh. Yes, sir. So if you see on the left, it says there is no encryption. That means what you see here, what you see here is a content which is not encrypted. What is the implication? What do we actually understand when we say that there is no encryption. World wide web, wherein the web servers are there, for example, your Gmail, Times of India, uh, say you have a chat application called Google Meet, you have another application called MS Teams, you have your uh, university website, like if a few of you are with Gujarat University and few of you with GTU, so as a student, you log into your portal. So everyone, who logs in from his browser to a website is called a client. You have to remember that there will be n number of multiple clients at a time. Whereas we, for the sake of simplicity, we assume that there is just one server. Remember this, right? We don't need to fight more on uh, the system is distributed. You, some of you might know that. Let's assume that we just have a mechanism wherein our mechanism is just one server and there are multiple clients. So there is a relationship which is called one to n. One server connected to n clients. Now, when you have n number of clients, it is desirable that the connection of server with each client remains safe, remains confidential, remains secure however when you do when you uh, when you see this this shows that the content transfer between the client that is us hum abhi humne is page ko load kiya hai edu for java.com ka koi body header ka page hai is page ko jab humne load kiya us waqt hamare aur server ke beech jo communication hua wo web par किसी भी इंडिविजुअल को जो ऑथोराइज नहीं है उसे भी विजिबल होगा द प्रोटोकॉल इज कॉल्ड हाइपर टेक्स्ट ट्रांसफर प्रोटोकॉल व्हिच इज आल्सो इट्स एक्रोनिम इज कॉल्ड एच टी पी सिंस टी इज रिटन ट्वाइस वी जस्ट यूज अ सिंगुलर टी एंड से एच टी पी सो द कनेक्शन इज नॉट encrypted between the clients and the server. For the sake of simplicity, we have logged in. But let's assume you all 11 guys click on this particular link. All of you will have the same not secure option in the address bar. Now, why we need to worry when we see that the website is not secure? If you look here, see, it says connection is secure. If you look here, the connection is secure. If you look here, the connection is secure. If you look here, the connection is secure. Just one place where it isn't secure. It means that it is the duty of the programmer. I mean to say you people to provide security, to provide encryption. If I use something called an HTTP protocol, no security, no encryptions there. So attackers who are in the red hat can easily monitor what you do. If you see here, this is you on the left. From your DNS server, the request for this particular website. Our website is this one, say, uh, edu4java.com goes to the DNS server and DNS server identifies your web server. It The request reaches them. The server responds with the home page. Let's say the name of the home page for this is this one. Just see. HTML5 hyphen body hyphen header dot HTML. So it's a simple HTML file which it in turn returns. But this also shows that Someone who developed this website did not take care to see that whatever talk happens between the client and himself 
or herself remain secure. Whereas if you already have a default end-to-end -end security on your machine, on your server, there is something called secure socket layer, SSL. This facility is a paid facility which is available to the developer when he would actually use the web service. When you look at your website, you don't see anything like website. The website is only a folder, like Z. Nothing else. But I know my folder is in a drive called E. Within E, there is a folder called Z. There is no other difference. However, when you launch your website on the web server, it is desired, it is expected that whatever number of clients and whatever be the communication, it is the duty of the web server to provide confidentiality. If it is not provided, then it's a problem because someone who is known as an adversary or an attacker can monitor your communication. So far, so good. Is there any doubt among the participants? Do you wish to ask something regarding what we have discussed so far? Do we have a question to take on? All no, right. Sir. All right. Nothing. These things are simplistic as such. So if you see here, you have something called a header. So whatever you will write in the header as a programmer, the client will see that here. Now, whatever you want to write within the home page, let's assume there is a lot of content. If you see, there is something called hosting a tutorial and there is a lot of information below it. So this part of the web page is known as body. What it is known as? It's called the body. So now, whatever a programmer would write in, right? And, and, and one more thing, if you see, I'll just again show it to you one more time. When I actually moved this particular page, right? What we made, hello world. Just see, when I pick this, and bring it inside the browser. Right? What did you see? What has happened? You can see the output. However, the code that I wrote, which was not visible to you, assume it was not visible to you. So the code that we wrote is not visible right now, right? And does anyone know if I want to view some code in the browser, how do we do that? Any idea? Is there an option for me to view what is written? Because this is the output. My title is the title that Parvez provided when this page was developed. And hello world is the text which Parvez wrote in the body, right? This is how things happened. This is how it went, right? So uh, if you don't know, you need to identify this. You need to identify that what or where is the HTML code. Browser in a way is an interpreter. Why we call it an interpreter? Because Whatever is written in HTML, HTML is a language which is a hypertext markup language wherein there are commands. Now, browser interprets those commands. Browser kya karega? Browser jo command aapne likhe hai, unko khud interpret karega. और उस पर्टिकुलर कमांड का आउटपुट आपके ब्राउजर में देखे दिखाएगा आप यहां देखिए जस्ट सी हियर आर यू एबल टू सी एनी एनीथिंग व्हिच इज सम कमांड्स ऑफ एचटीएमएल आर यू एबल टू सी दैट और यू आर ओनली एबल टू सी द आउटपुट व्हाट इज विजिबल टू यू 
जो पेज बनाया है उस पेज का आउटपुट आपको दिखाया जा रहा है आर यू विथ मी सर ऑल राइट सो लेट मी जस्ट से दैट अ ब्राउजर इज एन इंटरप्रीटर विच विल प्रोवाइड द आउटपुट ब्राउजर क्या करेगा सर्वर तो उसको एच कोड ही भेजेगा जब आपने जी का होम पेज मांगा जैसे मैं यहां लिख रहा हूं डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट जी मेल डॉट कॉम सो वॉट इट्स गोइंग टू डू दिस दिस वर्क स्पेस इज प्रिपेरिंग देखिए यहां निकल जाए बाहर हम एक मिनट के लिए अगर तो आप देखिए आई साइन आउट ऑफ ऑल अकाउंट ओके आई हैव साइन आउट सो इफ यू सी हियर everything is text there are no language commands on this page anywhere and if i just click on here it's going to ask me the credential of this particular account theek hai na aapne ek form banaya hai jisme sabse pehle to ek user ka naam jitne user is machine par hain gmail mein उनके नाम आ चुके हैं अगर रिमूव करना चाहे तो रिमूव कर दे चलिए हम रिमूव कर देते हैं इनको ठीक है ना सी इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम टू आस्क राइट इफ देर इज एन आयोटा ऑफ प्रॉब्लम प्लीज टॉक नाउ इफ यू सी हियर व्हाट इज डिफरेंट नाउ देर वे डिफॉल्ट नेम्स विच आर ऑलरेडी स्टोर्ड ऑन द क्लाइंट मशीन नाव if i choose this id and say next there is another text box which is called a password text box right and i i will type in some password which you will see encrypted do you see these dots so this is an encrypted password but there is a button below which say show password if you click this this tag this tab will become active and let you know what is the password but you usually keep it like this you if you are in some public place you don't want to show your password because someone who is an adversary may be around you to just know your password right but this is again a text box with a password field now when the content goes to the server just see here it says wrong password and on the top if you see just see here do you see a question mark is a question mark which is selected visible to all hello yes sir all right so this question mark there is something before the question mark if you see ht https colon double forward slash accounts dot google dot com forward slash sign in forward slash v two forward slash challenge forward slash password. So this is the last landing page of the password. After that, there is a question mark. This question mark actually separates the pages from the user shared content. If you keep going. Whatever you have given, it's going to show it, right? So यहाँ से आप जो भी देख रहे हो, वो आपका content है, ठीक है ना? जो आपके browser के address bar में travel हो रहा है, just see all this, like up till here, continue, right? So आप मान के चले कि हमने यहाँ से लेके shift end कर दिया मैंने मान लीजिए, तो ये पूरा content आपका आपके address bar में जा रहा है. can you read anything here is it in plain text there are jumbled characters which are not identifiable which are not interpretable now if say i provide a password right and go next the contents going moving here right and it lo it loads the mailbox now if all of you guys actually do the same task 
your mailbox would be different than this one because this is mine a client called parvez is an account at gmail and therefore his content is visible to him so this is a session between parvez and gmail all of you guys if you are already logged in on your phone you already have a client program an email program that connects you to the server to your gmail server do you understand that whatever we click here in the browser we won't see any code we will see pure plain text and nothing else are you with me right so what i mean to say is when we write some html code which probably will do day after tomorrow and we'll just type in a few uh, small small scripts or we'll see a few small scripts right ready made scripts so we become more familiar with how web development works you guys are not going to actually completely learn html but this is the core of the development development mein base jo hai wo html ke tags hain aap koi scripting language use karoge aap bahut sare images daloge aap bahut sare videos add karoge aap bahut sara audio add karoge to html as such static language hai tags wala but it is so robust that it can incorporate anyone along with it html apne sath sabko mila leta hai kya karta hai wo apne sath sabko mila leta hai fayda kya hoga whatever new comes is always going to be compatible with html so html never dies HTML हमेशा रहेगा आई मीन हुम अप विथ एच टी एम एल एनी थॉट एनी आइडिया एच टी एम एल किसने वेब और एच टी एम एल को लाया कौन वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब को प्रपगेट किसने किया आई मीन हुज दन हु इनिशिएटेड द वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब डू यू नो समन हु इज कॉल टीम बर्नस ली सुना है नाम इनका so team team burns lee came up with the idea of www world wide web the web which is again a, like a spider web is connected throughout the globe ye puri duniya mein phaila hua hai therefore it is known as world wide web within the web there will be n number of businesses n number of individuals millions and millions of individuals businesses and organizations who would have hosted themselves 